this week tutorial we learn about how easy to implement bottom navigation bar and model dialog and the drawer layout with a navigation component welcome to the third part of uh, advanced native mobile programming course we are at week three we still learn of navigations part two in this second part uh, the highlight is we are going to see what is pop up to and what is pop up to inclusive attributes and then we playing with navigation component handling button bar navigations the dialogue and also the drawer during this course this week course you need to reopen previous week or last week project we still use that project throughout this course okay first uh, we are talking about pop up to and pop up to inclusive which is uh, an attributes of the of uh, the navigation graph let me show you on the um, navigation graph here okay if you see um, when you click on the actions you will notice that we have the pop-up behaviors attributes so what is pop-up to and pop-up to inclusive so um, it's easy to explain with an example yeah so for instance we have a uh, two fragments the main and the game fragment here and the main fragment can navigate to game fragment and also the game fragment can go back to the main fragment just like we did in previous week uh, what happened when when the first time applications pops up on screens uh, the main fragment shows up and of course it start in the back stack here and the initial back stack only have one yeah which is the main fragment and and the next uh, we are press the start button yeah and the navigation control handle the navigations navigate to game fragment and then as you see the game for uh, the game fragment screen comes up on screen and it's stored in a back stack so um, notice that our back stack now consists of two items and what happened if we press back button yeah back button which is we can click here or you can click the soft back button above and also you can press the back but the hard back button uh, to go back to previous screen what happened if we press that back button okay so this is happening so when we press the back button instead it navigated back to the main screen but um, the real thing happening is it creates another instance of main fragments the first fragment that reopened previously so the main fragments come up as the new item in a back stack so now you have two instances of the main fragments and in this time when you click click the start again it's go back to create another instance so um as you can see here we have a, a memory problem i think we stored a lot of same instance in our back stack see we got main fragment game fragment main fragment game fragment and so on and so on so um that's happening in our uh our previous week's tutorial so how can how can we change this behavior okay using pop up to yeah pop up to attributes can be applied to an action or arrow yeah to remove backstack content until it's reached the fragment destinations okay uh, let's uh, let's say there are three fragments right now a b z here and next from fragment z it can navigate to fragment a yeah so for example in application graph the fragment c can go back to fragment a okay with pop up to fragment a as an attribute when when you set pop up to attributes for for the fragment c so the fragment c can pop up to fragment a okay what happened when you press back button it will pop up or it will remove the item in the back stack until it's reached the destination which is fragment a which means if you currently in fragment c when you press back button it will be pop up from the back stack and it try to search for the destination which is fragment a 
so the fragment b will be removed and then finally it found it find the fragment a and it stop in there okay so um the screen will show the fragment a but in the back stack we we only have one items okay so this is a best um practice if you if you want to uh, work with the uh with the master details master details um screens yeah which is you can go from masters and shows the detailed data and you, you can use this using this pop up to attributes okay okay let's try it yeah now um let's say uh open your navigation graph let's say we want to uh, fix the uh, arrow which is go back from uh, game fragment to main fragment we don't want to create a new instance for it we want to remove the remove it from the back stacks so therefore there's only one item in the back stack and hopefully it can works now okay open the uh, this one the ga uh, game navigations graph so um in the link back in the arrow back from the game fragment yeah to the uh, main fragment click on that arrow and on the pop up to here you have to click this uh, combo box or spinner here or combo box yeah and um, click the main fragment means that means that um, from the game fragment we can go back to main fragment and it will be it will pop up everything in the back stack until it's reached the destinations okay so um, uh, we only have two yeah we only have two fragment here but I believe in in your project you you have three yeah the main the game and also the result so you can use the arrow from result fragment here and uh, you can use pop up to to uh, remove everything in the back stack until it's reached reach of main fragments okay you can do that yeah instead of using game fragment okay okay let's play it and uh and we try it yeah okay it launched perfectly um now let's uh try to click the start button remember uh at first we have only one item in the back stack which is main fragment and then when we click the start button uh, we have two items on the back stack yeah we have two items on the back stack which is the game the first is the main fragment and the second is the game fragment and when we click the back button uh, this one or this one try to remove everything from the back stack until it reaches destination so let's click it and to prove it if our back stacks now contain on the main fragment you can press a back button again and as you can see it the application is uh, destroyed or stopped okay that's a proof that uh, it works the pop-up too it works and uh, your back stack is back to uh, only one item which is the main fragment and when you press again the application will stop now what is a uh, pop-up to inclusive attributes yeah so uh, if you set the pop-up to inclusive attributes set as true means that it will remove everything yeah from the fragment c until it's reached the destination which is fragment n and also the destination will be removed yeah remove the destination itself from the backstack so in this case the backstack now is empty yeah and don't worry um the uh your your application will create a new fragment a instance and it shows it on the screen so uh fragment is a is also pop up yeah from the back stack and the system will create a new and this is, is very useful if you need to get the latest data to the fragment a yeah for example you have like you have a web surface that connect to the server and you want to retrieve the the, the latest data okay from the uh, server so the fragment a always get the latest data and in this case yeah we don't use it but uh, of course you can 
set the pop-up to inclusive set is true okay okay now um, we continue with the bottom bar yeah bottom bar with navigation component what is that so the bottom bar is uh, is a collection of uh, icons and menu or icons and menu yeah which is you can click it yeah to uh, navigate to different part of screens different parts of applications and um, uh, in the previous course in the native mobile application course you need to create three things you need to prepare three things first you have to need you have to deploy a few pages you have to deploy button burn navigation itself also you need to um, set the resource menu for it and then you have to handle everything manually yeah handle the few pager handle the button burn navigations manually okay and i will show you is uh, right now is about how easy to let the navigation controller handle everything for you okay so let's do this second tutorial a button bar with navigation component okay first we need three icons of course we need the home list and person icons and to make it fast to uh, to create icon fast you can rely on the the, the drawable sorry the vector asset i mean right click on the rest new and then choose the vector asset we create three icons the first is this home icon yeah just search it home type home here okay we got it just press ok next and then finish do the same thing again for the second icon yeah new factor asset now search for list list okay this list icon is used for this one yeah format list or you can use this one whatever you like okay uh, this uh, list icon is used to uh, refer to the history menu yeah history menu and finally um, we add the third icon the uh, vector asset again and we are going to find something that related to profile yeah user profile menu and we can find it from persons keywords here you got this one okay just press ok next and uh, finish okay now uh, the next step is um, we are about to uh, uh, create the bottom menu resource files that will be consumed by bottom navigation bar okay but first of course because um, we have the home icon is used to uh, navigate to main fragment we already have it and uh, this one this history icon will navigate to history fragment we don't have it and also same as profile fragment we still does doesn't have it so next step is we create the fragments both fragments yeah the history and the profile fragment okay right click on the your package name and then uh, new okay and then go to fragment blank okay so name it that name the your first fragment as history fragment okay history fragment just press finish generating resources generating sources and then um, please do the same clean up things just like I show you uh, in previous week you need to delete this because we not require it we doesn't use it in with when you work with navigation component I mean you can delete this okay finally you can delete component object we doesn't require it in co work with navigation component okay so um, after you done it you open this the layout for the fragment history we only have one text view uh, okay um, please note that I don't plan to re uh, create something useful something real for this app for this uh, history fragment in particular I don't really want to make it works yeah so in this case I just want to show a labels yeah a labels that indicate uh, that the fragment history now 
uh, uh, shows on screens. Okay, so first thing first, you find the constraint layout, drag it, drop, drag and uh, drag and drop it to frame layout, and then uh, next, okay, next you need to put one text view. All right, okay, some I need to wait for Gradle process finish. All right, so I put a text view here. The things here, the things. I can drag it to uh, center of screens yeah as you can see here make sure it's centered on the screens like this if you will see the the uh, hint line here the handicap line here and uh, and then you can click on the magic bone icon here to automatically constrain this text view on every direction so just write history on the text and then make it uh, looks bold and look uh, uh, and, and set large font on it so uh, user will notice that um, we now see the history fragment okay so that's done for history fragment you can close it you can also close the the history fragment here now next up do the same thing to the second fragment okay set this blank which is profile fragment okay press finish okay do the clean up codes yeah and also um, use the same layout as the story so click we delete it we delete this part we also delete this companion object right and open the fragment profile okay i think i need to wait for gradle finish its job gradle build okay okay now i'm going to delete this text view okay oops all right find the constraint all right and drag and drop a text view right on the center of screens okay okay this one okay and now click on the magic wand things all right change the text to profile and then uh, make it bigger okay 24 sp and then set it as bold text sorry sorry okay 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 done okay next um we we need to create a menu the bottom menu resource file and it will consume by button bar notifications yeah in order to display the menu on on screen okay so to create it it's very simple i hope you still remember it when this is already taught in a native mobile programming class yeah um do we already have it oh sorry we already have it here um Okay, I'm going to delete it and I'm going I'm going to delete it. Yeah, sorry. I forgot to I already have it previously. So I'm going to delete the button menu segment here. Okay, so if you uh, don't have the menu folder here, uh, you can right click on the rest and then new and choose the Android resource file. Okay, and you um, type in the bottom underscore 
menu yeah for the file name and this one choose menu okay and just press ok it will create a new button menu yeah button menu navigations eh, sorry button menu resource file and um all you need to do is drag and drop three items three menu items we only need to deploy three menu item one two and the third one okay so um okay all right okay so uh if you look on this on the slide okay you need to create three icons home icon history and profile you can uh, follow this uh, uh, attributes yeah okay so to help you and first thing is uh, the first one should be item home okay and the title home and the icon of course we use the home icon yeah baseline home icon okay and COS action should be always apply I think that's it yeah for the home icons and now we jump on the next item this one should be item history the titles will be history okay. the icon refer to the list icon here show as a section as always so it will always appear as icon yeah the last item should be the item profile okay and this will be profile the icon is person's icon here which is this one okay just press ok show us as action always apply okay now we have three um items yeah three icons three menus and we want to deploy it or uh, attach it in our uh, bottom navigation uh, bar okay so go back to your activity main open up the main activity uh, because remember um, our activity main contains the the navigation host yeah which is load up our first fragment in here and it also uh, use as as the navigation controller yeah use as initialization of the navigation controller we have one host fragment here and all you need to do is drag and drop the navigations I'm um, sorry the bottom bar bottom navigation view so click and that one drag and drop on screens now uh, it adding to your uh, layout yeah the bottom bar okay let me open the slide for you okay yeah first you need to change the ID of bottom navigation view with uh, bottom nav or anything you like so change it to bottom nav here and set the layout with to match pattern and rep content yeah heads will be rep content and in order to show the menu yeah to show the menu on screens you should find the menu attribute here and click on the small button and click on the bottom menu here just press ok it will shows the three icons that we already uh, created previously okay so okay and now well it works um yeah squeeze as you can see here finally you need to attach it yeah constraint to ferry button means that uh no need to use the uh upper constraints in this case yeah yeah you just need to uh, go to the left and also to the right okay drag it down and it should be easy if you uh, work with this constant widget 
these things to create margins okay so this one is margin left margin bottom and margin right of the bottom left 0 0 0 without using the top uh, constraint okay back to slides right now okay now we um, need to update our navigation graph remember in in this project yeah so uh, go open your navigations graph which is communication XML here and um, you need to I need you to drag and drop two items okay so uh, the first one should be profile fragment profile and do the do it again for the second one should be history okay so arrange it like this right okay next um okay this is very important you have to remember it to create a connection here yeah, between navigation control with navigation bar automatically yeah automatically without uh manually read codes for it without manually read navigate to codes manually for each item you need to set same id on both of destination object and menu item id what is meaning of this one okay remember uh, if you want to connect yeah if you want to connect uh, it's a menu here okay let's take a look we have three items right item home item history item profile should be connected with uh, correspondent fragment right item host should be connected to um, main fragment the item story should be connected to history fragment okay so you need to use the same ID yeah for instance yeah for instance I have item profile with the ID of item profile I want to connect it to uh, a destination of profiles yeah fragment profiles in the game navigations click on the profile fragments as you can see here, here it still use the, the different ID profile fragment. So you need to change it as same as the uh, menu resource button. Okay. okay, item profile. See, when you enter, the refactor things comes up on screens and it show you, yeah, uh, Android Studio detects a problem. It's not a problem, it's, uh, it's just uh, information that you already have it you already have the same id item profile just press continue yeah so now you have two id with the item profile this one the item profile on the destination and also this one the item profile okay so um remember this thing you have to uh, need to rename it so both uh both object the menu and also the destination on navigation graph have same id okay so in that case i'm also click on the history history fragment here change the id to item history enter and wait for refactor t comes up on screens and just press continue and finally remember we have home item home yeah id it should be referred to this main fragment yeah so you also need to rename it main fragment should be item uh, home right refactor continue okay that's a key yeah to uh, make the navigation bar works fine okay right oh, yeah uh, no need to draw action arrow. No need to draw any connection between these three items. Why? Because when you're using button bar navigation, user user can jump in different fragments without specific flow order, right? So uh, when user in the home screen fragment, user can jump to the profile. You can jump to pro to history and go back to uh, to the home easily without need to follow specific navigation flow order okay so no need to draw a, a arrow unless unless yeah in 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 case that you may have a button some button here that when you click it you go to the profile so you need to connect it with an arrow okay but in this case we doesn't have it uh, just like i said in previous 
um, uh, minutes that I don't want, I don't plan to uh, create a real, real working things in this fragment. Yeah, I just uh, want to display a label. Just that's it. Yeah, for the spot fragments. Okay. Now uh, the final steps is to establish connection between Nav controller. Uh, the proper word of it should be how how to set up the navigation control to handle yeah to handle the bottom bar navigations okay um open the main activity yeah when the main activity kotlin yeah remember everything start from main activity in this project and all uh, right we should add something in this part okay in this um uh, after after navigation UI set up action bar, so we add this yeah bottom nav. Remember, uh, the bottom nav is the ID, the ID of bottom navigation bar, yeah. Dot set up with nav controller. You need to pass this parameter and control yeah pass this up as parameter and that's it that's it yeah so uh no need to write codes for individual menu no need to uh, uh use view pager okay just that's it everything handled by navigation controller and navigation control will will use reference from navigation graph yeah uh, as uh, as the way it navigates to different part of application so let's try it just hit the play button and i will back i will back after it runs well okay uh let's see how it works so we have three icons used on as the bottom bar you click history it pops up history you click profile it shows profile history and so on and the top left um uh i mean action bar yeah the what is called uh, the action bar with nav controller it shows a back button yeah when you click back it goes to main screen again okay it works fine without need to use a lot of codes without few pages you can use it in your project okay one thing you need to change is the fragment label i forgot to change it but you can uh, i believe you can uh, uh, change it by yourself okay next we uh, continue with second tutorials okay uh, next we talk about dialogue okay so what is dialogue um, in previously in native course you use alert dialogue to show a, a, a user interface part of user interface on screen without covering the whole screen here usually it shows in on right on the center of screens and then you can click on it you can interact with it you of course you can close it but in this uh in this tutorial i'm going to show you how easy to to also to create a dialogue without a dialogue builder and only using navigation component but and of and additionally i'm going to use different dialogue yeah okay so um first thing first you need to create a dialogue yeah the dialogue fragment so open the 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 android studio again go back to android studio again and create a new fragment okay new fragment new fragment blank and name it as option fragment okay option fragment finish Okay, to the clean up first, delete everything, accept the on create view, this one, component object, just delete it. Right. Um, if you want to uh, change this fragment to the dialog fragment, you need to change the uh, extension class. To the dialog fragment we do that usually in in native programming courses and in this case i will do differently i want to use the bottom dialog bottom seat button seat dialog fragment okay 
So what is bottom seat dialog box man? As you notice on the screenshot in previous slide, it will slide it, yes, slide it from bottom to center of screens, yeah. Just uh, it's not cover the whole screen, but it's slide from from uh, bottom part of screen to the center of screens. You usually see this a lot in in online shop application like Tokopedia, yeah to uh, show uh, different options, different filters uh, that related with the content that you are uh, currently see in the screen, okay? So, next, okay, um, create this layout, yeah? Create this layout um, based on these references, yeah? So, this dialog option is shows uh, user options to change the label yeah level and also uh, change at any uh, different set before playing the games okay um open the layout but the layout and then we are going to layouting it is this uh, first thing delete the text view okay Next, uh, we find the Gaussian layout and drag it to the screen. And we drag the text view. Drag it to the top, drag it to the left. Let's put a distance margin here 32 32 change it as label okay, okay make it bold right next um we are going to drag the uh okay next um for the level selection changer i'm uh, usually you use spinner okay but uh, in material design there is no spinner so you need to play with difference uh, use different alternatives for spinner. So, um, but of course, of course, you may use spinner in this case. Uh, but I will show you different way. Uh, I'll show you the material designs uh, way. Just choose the text input layout here. Drag and drop it on screens, and make sure it goes under the label. Uh, margin left margin right 32 and also 32 okay and i want to change the style of it okay going to find style change it to outline box yeah outline box yes enter so it will show you something like this okay and for the level here uh, as you notice that we have the text input edit text just delete it because I want to replace it with auto complete text view okay I mean auto complete uh, edit text view so we have this one we have this one uh, auto complete yeah yeah that's it okay box okay okay I have a render error I think Wait, wait, wait a minute, I need to readjust it once more. Okay. Click it again. Just to outline. Box. Enter. Okay. Uh, the autocomplete text view here should be a match parent. Match parent. Yeah. I think like that. Yeah, the contents. Yeah, okay. Uh, what is auto complete text view? It's like an edit text, normal edit text, but it shows uh, like a drop down icon. It, it shows like a combo box icons, and you can click it, and it shows different things. You, you can choose it from. Okay. Uh, next, I'm going to add this a uh, regular text view 32 with the distance of 24 from above change it to 
mathematics operations okay make it bold okay we just playing around with different ui can you can of course use anything that you like okay next um we deploy checkbox okay first one should be um addition addition enter okay and second one should be subtraction okay thirdly we add another checkbox should be uh, multiplications okay uh, and now um, I need you to uh, assign yeah constrain the ter the three checkbox here or or may or or you can use only one checkbox to constrain to bottom yeah uh, whatever you want so I'm going to only constrain one one checkbox yeah so let's uh, set distance like 32 okay you will see what I mean after this so we have one item check uh, constraint to the bottom and next I need to click the constraint layout and change the height into web content so it will show you something like this so when this dialog appear it only shows uh, as as height as as high as this okay so it's little yeah just a, a little thin dialog shows on from the bottom to uh, uh, center of screens okay and I, I think I will create another tutorial to this one yeah uh, usually you need to create adapter uh, and then you set array of list uh, of string I mean and then you put it in, inside it and it will behave like a spinner yeah like a spinner all right I think that's it for DUI Okay, next, uh, okay, next we need to update the navigation graph. Of course, we have a new destinations. Open your navigation graph and click the add here, the fragment options. So we have it. Click in here. Drag it to here, right. So uh, uh, from the item home or main fragment, we can go to the option fragment and uh, no need to uh, draw a opposite, an opposite arrow back to the main fragment because just like I say previously, um, the dialog can close itself by tapping on outside of the dialog body. Okay, so no need to create opposite arrow right to invoke the dialog we need a button in the main fragment layout so open the main fragment layout okay we put uh, a button here okay right drag it under the player name drag to the left 32 and 8 all right, guys. I'm uh, currently I turn off my emulator because it takes a lot of memory. Yeah. So uh, it it uh, when I drag something in here, it's it lagging a lot. So I I need to turn off my emulator, and I will turn on back again after this. Okay. So we have a, this button. Rename the ID as the button options refactor, right? And then I, I will change its style. Remember, in material design courses, um, uh, there are three kind of button: the outline, the text button, and also the the full color button. Like this, it has different purpose. The full button color like this is used usually used as main main function of the screens. Okay, so the options is only secondary functions. So we should use different style. So let's type text. Uh, sorry button text yeah okay just the text button here enter ok 
yeah it will show something like this um change the label to options okay i think that's it right next um trigger the handle and this is the thing to trigger the dialog it's similar like you uh, trigger the navigations things with use uh, the button start okay there's no difference so that's the good thing without alert dialog without uh, custom uh, alert dialog yeah so what i mean is just open the main fragment go to the on view created here just type button options set on click listener and then uh read same things yeah oh yeah we need to rebuild yeah we need to rebuild remember remember um if you type the main fragment direction dot yeah there is no action uh action game sorry action option fragment okay because we uh, forgot to rebuild and of course yeah i forgot to rename this arrow right so go back open your game navigation graph again click this arrow and name it as action option fragment enter and then refactors and build rebuild project okay um so we first create action here main fragment after rebuilding we can now have access to action option fragment okay uh, no argument here okay so uh, use the same uh, mechanism like the button start here find of controller it and we call the navigate action here okay yes that's it that's all let's run the codes and if uh if doing fine you will see the dialog shows up from bottom of the screens all right guys uh before i continue i need to uh, show you that i already know how to fix this with looking auto complete text view because i choose different or i'm incorrect uh, style okay so you can you can fix it by click the text input layout here and change the style to uh different style here not outline box but try to search for expose um outline box expose drop down menu okay press enter and it looks should looks like this okay so you we can populate it with adapter and string and it will uh behave like a spinner okay okay uh, this is the result if you click the os options yeah it shows the dialog yeah you can close it by click on the uh outside of the body of the dialog okay uh now we uh on the final tutorial which is drawer yeah drawer with navigation component so what is drawer uh, you already learned about it in navigate uh sorry in native programming courses yeah the drawer is a collection of menus that shows uh from the that's hidden yeah that's hidden on the left side of screens and then you can click on the menu drawer or hamburger icon here to show the hidden menu okay and then we can interact with the menu in under under the drawer uh, uh, uh area okay so uh, in previously in native course you must implement all navigation manually for each individual menu items on the drawer and uh, let's see uh, what should we do in the navigation with using navigation component okay so um, of course in within your app you can use both uh, button navigation bar all and the drawer okay to create the navigation drawer the first step is to wrap your layout under the drawer layout component and unfortunately you must do this manually in xml codes okay uh, let's open the your activity main xml okay because uh, that's that that's where everything started yeah here we have a host fragment we have a button nav and constant so everything must be a uh, rabbit inside inside the drawer layout if you look for the drawer layout 
and, and unfortunately there is no uh, drag and drop tools here so we should go to the codes here and then minimize your android constraint and start typing the drawer layout just like that okay and then uh what you need to do is cut this xml ns part yeah from this one to this one cut it from constraint and paste it in the drawer layout header part okay so um the attributes that must uh, required in this when you work with the xml code is this one the height and also and of course the the width yeah so must be match parents and then uh, you need to do one more things fits system windows as true and set id for uh the drawer layout as uh drawer uh, layout okay just like that let me check first yeah first you have this one and then this one and this one okay so the uh this is the id of the, our driver layout we will uh, refer this id in our kotlin codes yeah make sure you name it as well okay next um wrap constant layout see we have constant layout here uh close it and you need to cut it and put it inside inside the drawer layout so this is how it looks like so the the constant layout is wrapped within the drawer layout okay that's it that's all go back to the design now you will see that the drawer layout now i have a constant layout and it has a source fragment and bottom nav and the rendered uh in in this screen is fine okay nothing changes okay next um one more thing if you work with the drawer navigation drawer yeah you need to put uh, an additional uh object yeah the navigation view which is hold the menu actually there are there are two items yeah the navigation view and also the navigation header but for um simplicity on this tutorial i only use the navigation view okay only use the, the menu okay um drag and drop the navigation view make sure you not put it under the constant layout yeah put it on the outside of the constant layout but make sure that the navigation view uh structured on the very bottom of your uh, layout so let's take a look here so the first item is the constant layout and the very bottom is the navigation view remember the navigation view it's uh, is a siblings of constant layout so it's not under the constant layout it's just as same as constant layout as as the structures as you can see as a component tree it's uh, it's is uh, act like a siblings of the constant layout okay so this is uh, how it goes so next set id for your navigation view as nav view next one uh, the layout graffiti should be start okay unfortunately this one if you look it in the um attributes here you cannot find it so you get you must go to codes and edit it manually android layout graffiti start okay no error yeah no error I hope this uh, one should be fixed on the next Android Studio updates. And next, uh, set width and height as wrap content and match parent. The wrap contents and match parent, okay. Um, and the menu should be, yeah, should be button menu. Okay. Uh, find the menu. Set it as button menu. Remember, um, you may use different menu resource for your drawer, okay. So, but uh, because I'm I'm use the same uh, menu, I use the same fragment for my navigation drawer. So, as same as a button bar navigation. So, I not I'm I'm not going to create a new resource menu. Okay, just use the same button menu. Okay, so that means it will shows you the same menu as the button bar, bar navigation. Let me show you. 
uh, let me delete this one okay go back to design okay see it contains the same thing as button bar navigation view right okay the layout gravity start means that i'm going to hide the menu the drawer at the left uh, left screen of the applications and the menu use is using the bottom menu okay right <clears throat> okay Establish connection. I mean, um, divine the navigation controller that can divine or control the drawer. Okay, it's very easy. Go to your main activity. Okay, go to your main activity here, and what you need to do is uh, set up two things. Yeah, first, the setup action bar. Now you need to write the drawer layout on the third parameter. Okay, drawer layout okay it means that uh, now my action bar contains drawer layout my application has drawer layout have the navigation drawer so i put the last part here the plus parameter secondly you need to also you need to set up the navigation controller for your navigation view okay which is mean that in your um uh this one yeah you need to connect i'm sorry sorry not this one the main activity which is uh here okay In the main activity here you need to connect drawer layout to navigation controller also the nav view yeah both things must be connected to navigation controller okay so this one we do the same thing navigation ui dot set up um set up with nav controller okay and the nav view object comma nav controller okay fine good okay next uh, the last things you need to do is change a little change on the support navigator app uh, because um this one when you press the back button or whatever it is on the top left of your apps now it contains the drawer layout okay it's not null anymore because it's now have the draw layout okay so um because the support navigate up will be called whether you press the menu or whether you press the back button so it can return to two things yeah the the one that shows the drawer or you place or here the one that's uh uh go back yeah the one that execute the go back or go to backslash or go to previous screens okay we just need to call super dot on support navigate up that's it yeah so um let's hit the play button okay uh, it's execute very well no error uh click on the uh, menu here it shows the drawer and then when you click the label the menu here black profile it shows the profile screens okay uh, the good things about navigation control it also handle the focus uh, UI yeah so as you can see here my profiles uh, highlighted as blue okay so um, same thing as when you put uh, go to the home here so this is the result you can go to history you can still go to home you can uh, use the drawer to jump up to different part of your uh, applications okay right this is a result okay um i hope you um use what you learned today in your uh, project in any project you have and i hope you can have benefit of simplicity of using navigation component a new library provided by android studio yeah to make your applications much better faster okay